Mic checker. Chicka, chicka, chicka. It's not a son, baby. Uh, yeah. A one time, baby. Uh, what? Uh, for your mind, baby. Uh, yeah. We gonna shine, baby. Uh, and what we do, we gonna grind, baby. Uh, yeah. What? And this is it's another episode. So, so. A Swingers After Dark. And this is your host, Nasan, baby. Here we go. Uh, you know, I started this podcast to talk my shit, shit, shit. I started this podcast to talk my shit and sell some books. I did not use this podcast to become popular, to become famous, and to get some ass. I did not do those three things as a motivational tool to start this podcast. Shit, I'm not even using this. Po- I'm not even using this podcast as a quick rich scheme. But you can't say that ten times fast. Like I'm not using this podcast to make a lot of money. Even though I leave my donation links in the description, I'm not using this podcast. To you know make money off of this platform I'm using this podcast to sell some books That sounds like a contradiction But it's really not because Who's to say that you're going to buy my book Just because you love my podcast <laughs> You understand me it's, it's a promotional tool A labor of love Because I don't, I don't have to podcast The amount of time That I'm recording You know what I'm saying? I could just do this for the love of it. It's a labor of love. And you know, I'm 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 podcasting out of necessity. Not because I want to be your guru. Not because I think I know everything. I don't know everything. You know, I speak on issues and topics and subjects that I know about or topics, subjects, and issues that interests me and if I'm interested in the subject but I have no knowledge about I bring other people onto the show so they can talk they she is she is she is which is why your beloved host not son baby brings on guests guests who know more about a particular subject than me and also I want to give people their flowers because I'm not the only person and the swing lifestyle who who could drop nuggets of jewels you know i'm not the only smart motherfucker in the room i like to surround myself with people who are not only smarter but are more intelligent and have more wisdom than me why because iron sharpens iron and steel sharpens steel you know i'm not comfortable with being the richest person in the room i'm not comfortable with being the smartest person in the room because I cannot learn anything. It's like it's like playing Super Mario Brothers and you're on the same level over and over and over and over again. You understand me? It's like being a white belt and not you're not moving up to be a, a, a yellow belt, a brown belt, a black belt, a second degree black belt, third degree, and so on and so on. It's about sharpening your skills. And you know, I, I get donations here and there, but I do not ask for donations. You never heard me on on the episode asking for donations. I'm gonna leave my link, but I'm not gonna tell you to donate. You understand me? Why? Because in life, I learned that if anybody wanna do something, they're going to do it on their own merit. They're not necessarily gonna do it because you told them to do it. It's because they want to. Which is why I don't beat it over the head that you should donate. (laughs) But what I want you to do, or I would like for you to do, is to buy my book. Because that's the main reason why I started the podcast. As a promotional tool to promote my books. And once again, I'm not doing this to be Mr. Know-It-All. Because I don't know everything. You know, to know a lot... You know, it, it to know a lot means that you don't know anything. 
You know what I'm saying? Because there's always going to be somebody who knows more than you. You feel me? And I bring I bring these people on because I don't want to be the dominant voice on my podcast. You know, I, I could I could talk my shit all the time, anytime I want to. But it's about spreading the love. And that's why I'm not I'm not I don't I don't take myself seriously sometimes. I use this to have fun, joke around, and talk my shit, shit, shit. I like to talk my shit. That's why I use a comedic tone for serious issues. And that's why I don't talk about race as much. I may talk about race in regards to the swinger lifestyle, but I'm not getting into the meat and potatoes of race and politics and social gender wars and identity wars and shit like that. Because the world is already crazy enough. And when you come onto my podcast, my beloved Swingers After Dark podcast, hosted by yours truly, it's not son, baby. A one time, baby. A one time, baby. Whatever whatever the fuck I say in the beginning. When you come onto my show, I just want you to, you know, kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down with the not son beat. That, that's a remix from an escape song for all you millennials or you generation Zers who never heard of the R&B group Escape. But anyway, I'm not here to be your fucking guru. I'm not here to be a sage. I'm not here to be a wise man. I'm just here to release. It's, it's therapy. This podcast is therapy. Because I don't want to hoard knowledge and information and understanding. I don't want to hold back knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from people who may want to learn or who are interested in the swing lifestyle. I am not here to convince you that you should become a swinger or to partake in the swing lifestyle. Because swinging is not for everybody. (laughs) Real talk. It's not for everybody. And I'm not here to shame people. I'm not the type of person who will talk shit about you if you don't want to be polyamorous. Or I'm not here to shame you if you disagree with the swing lifestyle. Because everything is not for everybody. Everything is not everybody's cup of henny. Tequila, whiskey, bourbon, scotch, or whatever the fuck you drink. Water, juice, or whatever the case. Everything is not for everybody. I'm not, I'm not here to convince you. I'm just a vessel. And a lot of people have a misconception of the swing lifestyle. And hopefully, I'm doing my job well enough to convey knowledge, wisdom, and understanding about the swing lifestyle. Because a lot of people have, have a misconception. I was about to say misperception. Because that's not grammatically correct. There's no such word called misperception. It's misconception. People don't have the proper concept of what swinging is about. Which is why... I'm on here to talk my shit and to bring other people who could supplement and complement my pearls of what I'm talking about. Because once again, I don't want to be the dominant voice. And, you know, I'm I'm a type of person, you know, I'm a type of person who asks questions. And a lot of people tell me that I'm wise beyond my years. It's not that I'm wise beyond my years. I just know how to shut the fuck up. And listen to other people speak. You know, your your ears are open for a reason. And your mouth can close for another reason. So people say that I'm wise by my years. Yeah, I, that may be true. But I'm also ignorant to a lot of things. You understand me? I, I don't I don't I don't know everything. I'll be the first to tell you. I'm not perfect. I'ma fuck up. And I might continue to fuck up because, you know, in this learning experience called life, we're going to make mistakes, you know, and I don't have a problem with learning. You know, I I have a thirst for knowledge and, you know, knowledge don't mean shit without wisdom and wisdom comes from experience. Whether it's your journey or learning from the mistakes from others or learning the blueprint of what it means to succeed. From others, you know, because I have a long way to go and I won't stop learning until I push up daisies. You understand me? And, you know, I I feel rewarded when people, you know, 
inbox me or message me, DM me, speak with me in person and tell me how informative my podcast is. They love the information and, uh, you know, the flow and the style of my podcast. They appreciate me. And that right there makes my dick hard. Real talk. Yeah, ass and titties and a cute face. And a little bit of, you know, fupa and like baby dents on the ass. And the stretch marks and shit like that. And the pretty toes. Woo, I love a woman with pretty ass toes. But anywho, yeah, that could get me hard too. But, you know, it, it's, it's, the, it's the appreciation that I get. And yeah, everybody's not going to fuck with my show. I could accept that. Because I am not doing this show for acceptance. I could give a fuck about people acceptance. But what I do care about is appreciation. Because I don't give a fuck who you are. Everybody want to be appreciated. In their craft, in their work, or whatever you do. Everybody want to be appreciated. And if I get one listener, even if I get one loyalist, I'm appreciated. Because that person could do something else with their time. That person could do something else instead of listening to me talk my shit, shit, shit. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm appreciative. I am not humbled. Or I am not humble. I could get humbled. Because life could kick in your ass sometimes. To where, you know, you could gain that wisdom. I am humble. Not humble, but humbled. Because slaves are humble. And to be humble means that you have a low quality of thought about yourself. That, that's another overused word, humble. You got to be humble. Fuck that. I'm not being humble. Look up the fucking word in the dictionary. Humble means to have a low quality about yourself. How the fuck are you going to be humble? I could be humbled because I could be on my high horse and I could fall off my ass and get back up again. I could be humbled with the D at the end, but I am not humble. No. I'm not arrogant. I'm not conceited. Well, once in a while. But, you know, I, I sometimes I, I got to talk my shit. But for the most part, you know, I'm, I'm very appreciative. I am not humbled. Or, let's let, see, I'm, I'm fucking up. I am not humble. I could be humbled. See, the, the English, like, I'm an author, right? And the English word, it, 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 could, it could, like, trip you up sometimes. You know? But for the most part, you know, this podcast is for a comedic enjoyment, you know. It's for you to not take life seriously all the time. It's not all about the hustle and bustle. And just like how I keep fucking up with the word humble and humbled, I don't take myself seriously. Just like how I fucked up, but I was cognizant or I was aware enough to correct myself. And that's a metaphor, like... Fucking up humble and humbled is a metaphor of self-correction. How I corrected myself and I kept going instead of saying, well, fuck it. I'm going to start over because I fucked up one part of the podcast. Nah, I'm going to keep going. You know, it's not about being right. It's about getting it right. And once again, this is what this podcast is about. And, you know, everybody's not going to agree with me. That's cool. Everybody's not going to fuck with me. That's cool. And people may think I'm a piece of shit or I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And I'm just talking about, you know, shit that doesn't interest them. But that's also cool. But the greatest part of life is that you can pick and choose and what you prefer to indulge in. You have choices. Life is all about choices. You know? And when you choose to log on to my, you know, podcast and playing downloading and shit like that, I'm, I'm very thankful. And, you know, like, before I started this podcast, I had no interest in, you know, I really had no interest in podcasting. I just wanted to write. I just wanted to write books and, you know, kick back and watch my book sales go through the roof. But, you know, what I realize is that, you know, people have to buy into you. 
People have to buy into your personality. People have to like you before they buy into your product. And I had to learn to use all my avenues as a promotional tool, as a marketing tool, as advertisement. Because not for nothing, I got tired of getting the runaround from content creators who dragged their foot when it came to them interviewing me. I got tired of the politics. I got tired of chasing my tail to get interviews. So you know what I did? Instead of crying over spilt milk, I got me a glass and poured me the milk from the fridge. I just poured me another glass. I'm not crying over spilt milk. I'm not bitching about something that I could solve. Every problem has a solution. So instead of me bitching and complaining about, you know, why I'm not getting interviews, why these book, you know, book reviewers and book clubs and why these content creators don't want to interview me. No, that's not manly. That's not mannish. I'm a G. I'm the captain of my ship and the master of my destiny or whatever the fuck that saying goes. I decided to start my own podcast, to not only sell books, but to talk my shit, shit, shit. I am not here to, you know, become this fucking guru. No, I appreciate it. If people call me their guru or if people say they learn you know they they thankful of what I do. That's cool, but this this is this is not for me to suck my own dick. Pause. I'm a pause that. This is not for me to you know to engage in mental masturbation. This is for me to let loose. This is therapy for me. I am not paying a stranger x amount of dollars. To tell them what I already know about myself. <laughs> but I get it. People need therapy. So I'm not shitting on people who need a therapist. But you know, th- this podcast, you know, is, is the greatest thing on earth because it gives people the opportunity to spread ideas. You know, it gives people to, to spread ideas and it gives people to vent. Whether you agree or disagree with how they vent. And I don't take myself seriously. I don't parade around and call myself, you know, this this Don or I'm the king. And, well, I am a king, but you know, this this is this is like a labor of love. Because if it was up to me, I probably I probably if I was like a New York bestseller, like if, if I was like on the top of the food chain. To be honest with you, I probably wouldn't have started this podcast because it's like why I already have. I already have what I need. You know? I, I don't I don't need the extras. You know, I don't I already have what I want. So why the fuck do I need a podcast? But we're living like if you're an entrepreneur and you want to get exposure, we're living in an era where people gotta hear from you. If they can't see you, they have to hear from you. Like me personally, if if it was up to me. I would be on my Sade shit. For those who don't know, it's it's a group. Uh and I won't even say an RB group. I would say a soul. Yeah, I'm gonna say soul. It's it's an it's a soul, a soulful group from the 80s called Sade. And the greatest misconception, not misperception, the, the greatest misconception about that group is that Sade is named after the lead singer. Which is true, partially, but that's also the name of the whole group. So the name of the whole group is Sade. It's not only the singer, it's the group. And it's spelled S-A-D-E, Sade. And for all you Generation Zers and Millennials who don't know who the fuck Sade is, I will advise you to YouTube and Google for some classics, 80s and 90s and early 2000s music. But anyway, I digress and it's back to the lecture at hand. So, you know, this, this, I, I don't live off my podcast. I don't live off my podcast. I'm not, this is not a, a, a come up for me. This is not, you know, 
something that I'm trying to hit the jackpot or the lottery, don't get it fucked up. I appreciate the donations. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I appreciate the donations. Listen, I'm writing for the money. I am not the type of person who say shit like, you know, I'm not doing this for the money. Shit. Money makes the fucking go. I, I got to get this right. Money makes the world go round. And I'm not doing shit for free if I'm talented at it. No. Why? Because time is money. And if, if I put time into something, then it's only natural that I get something back. Because not only time is money, but money is also currency. And currency is energy. So the amount of time and energy that I put into something, that should translate into currency. Bars. You feel me? So even even though I'm, I'm not looking to make money off this podcast on the front end, you best believe that I'm going to work my ass off to push my books, which is why I plug my books after every episode. So don't get it don't get it fucked up. I'm I'm doing yes, I'm talking my shit. It's a labor of love, but at the same time, that's an end game. I am not doing this to get you know for people to suck my dick and jerk me off. There's an end game as to why I have a podcast. It's because you know I'm I'm, I'm giving out information, but I have a book to sell, <laughs> and that's the guy honest truth. You understand me? That's 100% transparency. And you know, I appreciate the love and the adulation, but this podcast is not a fanboy or a fangirl show. I do not need fanatics. You know, this is not people to, you know, for people to put me on a pedestal. You know, because I'm like you. I wake up, I, sh- I get situated, I shower, I wash my ass. You know, I, I do everything that people do. I'm, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm not doing, I'm not doing anything ordinary, or out of the ordinary, rather. But it, it's it's all about you know perfecting your craft and like even though I write for the money, because I'm a firm believer that we live in a capitalist society, and you should capitalize on your gifts and your talents. And even when I say that I'm writing for the money. I need to have love to do something because if it was really about for the money, I wouldn't be a writer because being an author and being a writer, that's, that's a part of the starving artist community. So even, even in the midst of me saying that I'm not writing for the money, I'm not being greedy. And I found my passion that I want to capitalize off of, or I want to capitalize on. You understand me? And when I write my books, I'm not going to half-ass my work because not only writing is an art, it's also a discipline because I'm writing every day. I'm improving every day. You know, I want to, I want to put out the best product to the best of my abilities because I don't want to shortchange my readership. You only as good as your last book. Shit. You only as good as your last paragraph. (laughs) The way I write, because before I send my manuscript to my editor so she could rip it apart. I comb through the manuscript. You know, there's a process. There's a phase. Because if I don't like my work, then who's to say that you're going to like what I'm putting out there? I have to like my work. I have to be passionate about my work. And it's the same with this podcast. Yes, I'm doing it as a labor of love, but I don't want to half-ass the experience. I take it seriously. Even when I do shit for free, I'm taking it seriously because I'm leaving behind a legacy. And even if you're not in front of me, I may become a mentor to somebody. And if I'm a mentor to you or to anybody else who may be listening, I want you to do better than me and I want you to be better than me. So you can mission me when I'm no longer here. When I'm no longer in existence, the people who come after me could say, yo, my son inspired me. He made me become the better person or he made me become the person I am today. And because of him, I salute him. And at the end of the day, that's what is life. That's what life is about. Life is about le- leaving a legacy. 
Life is about leaving a legacy and making sure that the generation after you could benefit from the fruits of your labor. And that's what eldership is about. You dig? And on that note, this is another episode of Swingers After Dark. And this is your host, Nassan, baby. Check out my website at www.nassanblaze.com. That's www.nahsunblaze.com. And check out my ebook, Fuck. Yes, you heard right. Fuck, my favorite cuss word. F U C K, fuck. It's on Nook, Kindle, iBooks, Google Play. Go get it. Then make you say, uh, na 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 na, ow. And shoot me an email at swingpodcast at gmail.com. That's swingpodcast at gmail.com. And hit me up with any questions and or concerns that you may have, have, have. Rate, share, subscribe, and comment on this podcast. So here we go. What? So here we go. Chicka, chicka. Uh. So here we go. What? Uh, yeah, and I'm out.